the religious tradition of the Jesuits is to be contemplatives in action, so that inherent kind of creative tension between our interior lives and the lives where we live and work uh, is an important one. But it takes a certain kind of discipline, a certain reflectivity, and hopefully a certain level of silence uh, to appreciate the power of God in our world. So retreats can become a very important centering experience for students in a highly fast-paced environment that uses technology in so many different ways and where we're always connected. It can help us to be slow down, to be reflective. If you were to ask me what keeps me awake at night, certainly the cost of higher education and making education accessible to our students is critically important to me. So what we do at Holy Cross, we do a number of things. First of all, we are one of the fewer than 50 need-blind, full-need university or colleges in the United States. That means when we accept students to Holy Cross, we do not look at their financial need statements. And after we've accepted them and students have just made the choice to come to Holy Cross, we work with them and their families and their demonstrated need to meet 100% of that need. Many alumni will say to me, I couldn't get into Holy Cross today. Uh, it's, it's too competitive, and I always say to them, but your degree today is worth a whole lot more than it was when you came to Holy Cross. It is true the academic standards have improved enormously, but I think the genius of the liberal arts curriculum is that it focuses the student on learning to think critically and to write effectively and to speak uh, sensitively so that um, the skill sets that they learn will endure for a lifetime of careers. You know, I think many of us today have multiple careers, but the skill set that carries you from career to career is those critical abilities in speaking and thinking and writing. And that's what a liberal arts education does best above all. So it gives you an education that endures and transcends careers. Interestingly, the last three years in a row have probably been our three highest years for applicants coming to Holy Cross. On the East Coast, particularly in the Northeast, the demographics are, are changing. I've been very concerned here that we continue to look at where are our students coming from and adding diversity both in terms of the South and the West, uh, but also internationally. How can we um, attract the best students to create an experience here that's diverse both economically and racially and geographically and culturally? Um, and that's part of what we hope to do and continue to do. We're now more diverse than we've ever been in our history. How to find a way to be athletically uh, successful and academically challenging is very, very important to us. And clearly some, some larger schools have done that very, very effectively. I think many of us could say that we have to look again at the role that athletic plays at Holy Cross and we have to consider and continue to consider the resources that we put towards athletics and the role it plays within the liberal arts and, and higher education. We're not going to compromise our academic standards and our athletic ethics, um, but we can continue to look at what produces the best possible experience for our students, what brings satisfaction and joy to our alums, and, and how can this fit together in the mission that we have here at Holy Cross. One of the things that's most unique about Holy Cross is the quality and the commitment of our alums. Um, I, I'm amazed at their dedication and, and the commitment they've made to support and sustain Holy Cross, not only through their generous financial contributions, but also through their mentoring, through research opportunities, through internships. But probably at the heart of the experience on our campus is the relationship between faculty and students. You know, we have a 10 to 1 ratio of students to faculty members. Our faculty uh, go way above and beyond um, normal expectations in terms of their engagement of our students, their support for our students, not only in the classroom, but in their lives, in their professional endeavors, and even after they graduated.